Line 6 Helix is a family of guitar processors that feature amp modeling, USB audio interfacing, and a pedal board packed with numerous other functions. Combining Helix with Camelot enables you to achieve great results in all kinds of situations. Whether you're playing live or recording with your band, Helix and Camelot together are a valuable ally you can always rely on. Camelot version 2.2.4 updates its Helix Smart Map to be compatible with the most recent Helix software. I'm Mattia Santi, and in this video, I will help you optimize your setup pairing Helix and Camelot. If you want to download the free version of Camelot, check out the link below. First, we connect Helix to the computer via a USB cable, so Camelot can see Helix as an audio and MIDI interface. If you are a Windows user, Make sure you have downloaded and installed your Helix drivers from Line6.com. We can exchange both MIDI and audio information through the USB cable, so we do not need to add a MIDI cable. To set Helix to act as a MIDI interface, we open the menu and enter Global Settings. Then, access the MIDI and Tempo submenu. Here, you can set Helix's MIDI bass channel to any of MIDI's 16 channels. Now let's shift our attention to page two of the submenu and enable MIDI over USB reception. Now that Helix is properly set up, we can focus on Camelot. Let's go to the settings view and select Helix in the audio panel as an audio input and as an audio output. Then we move to the MIDI panel and set Helix as a MIDI input and a MIDI output. In the Songs view, we click the New Set List button to create a new set list. We move to the Scenes view and see that one scene has already been created by default. We can rename it as we like and create more scenes as needed. Before we can add Helix as an item, we must make a new layer in the Layers section. We click the plus sign button in the Scene Layers section Follow the wizard, and there's our new layer. Now, we can click the plus button in the new layer and add the new item by clicking Instruments and Devices, Hardware Devices, then click the Line 6 folder and select the updated Helix map. We now have a dedicated Helix item. Remember that the first time we add an item, it is important to set up the MIDI and audio ports correctly, including send and receive ports. Once configured, Camelot will remember the settings. Now, all we have to do is specify which preset we want Helix to run in this scene. In the song I composed for this video, I created presets for three sounds, clean, crunch, and lead. You don't need to know the right MIDI messages to change presets or effects, as Camelot will take care of that for us. The presets I am going to select can be found in user one. I can also type the name of the preset I want into the search bar and then select it. User presets are not renamed automatically, so I suggest you rename only the presets you use most often. We've already accomplished a great deal, but Camelot can do much more, such as turning an effect on or off or increasing or decreasing the level of a delay in a part of a song. Control changes, or CCs, are MIDI messages that give us real-time control of an instrument. In this case, I have turned a stomp or effect on and off several times during the song. Let's see how. I create a copy of the current scene so I don't have to redo the whole configuration. I expand the block by clicking the expansion arrow on the side of the Helix item to access control change management. By default, CCs are disabled. To enable one, we select a fader and click on the CC name, then change it to suit our needs. In my case, Helix is set in the first four foot switches to preset mode and the remaining four to stomp mode. So if I want to turn on an effect, I have to search for the foot switch I need. Here, this is FS9. To turn off an effect, we set the CC value to zero. And to turn it on, we set the value to 127. We can repeat this same procedure in each of the other scenes, choosing the right preset or value in each scene as needed. Okay, let's look at how to automate scene changes to our backing track. 
In the timeline view, I add a backing track by clicking the plus button and locating the backing track audio file. Now, I can insert a scene by clicking the plus button in the scenes section. As you can see, all my previously created scenes are already here, so we can easily insert them into the timeline. I recommend that you try this procedure to simplify your work, as it lets you call up scenes multiple times without duplicating them. Since Helix is a multiple output audio device, you can assign each backing track to a different Helix audio output, deselecting the guitar output. I hope this video was inspiring and that combining Camelot with Line 6 Helix helps you simplify your live performance experience. If you have any questions or want more information, please leave a comment below. Thank you.